What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are back today with another episode of Yesterday's Enterprise and the 1701C and another botched paint job. Just like in The Defiant, we wound up kind of screwing things up here. <laughs> and it wasn't with the paint. Uh, the paint came out just fine. When we uh, threw the coats of paint on after we put on our... Um, what was it? Uh, oh, goodness me. I'm going to look up here. Micro Scale Industries MI7 Micro Mask. The paint turned out really good. Is I couldn't get the micro mask off. Even after soaking it in water, I couldn't get it off. I couldn't peel it off. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, so we're not going to be using that here. And unfortunately, because of that, we're going to need to go ahead and get this model all taken care of. So as you can see around here, uh, there's... And there's scrapings. Um, I have damaged the underlayer of paint um, all the way down to the plastic. I have just done things. I cannot get this masking compound off for the life of me. And so we're going to soak and uh, get restarted. Uh, I'm expecting the Aztec dummy to show up any day now. And I cannot wait because I, I really am looking forward to using that for the rest of this model, especially in these more intricate areas where they've already done the hard work for me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get it ready by going ahead and pulling all this down. Uh, we're gonna soak it in some uh, ISP and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, use a toothbrush to scrub it off and then we're gonna go ahead and put our nine coats on today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get moving, shall we? Uh, I have my container here, a little bit more appropriate sized for uh, what I'm doing here. And then I have my ISP that, uh, IPA, I don't know, what do we call it? My, my 91%, we'll call it. Uh, I have this here, and this is the, uh, what happened, or this is the uh, stuff that I saved from the Defiant. Um, and then I went ahead and picked up another big old container of it, so just in case we didn't have enough. So let's go ahead and just get this on here. It's right over the top. <laughs> did I need to make all this extra effort today to go to the store? Yes, I did for about that much more. So that's perfect. I'm glad that I did that. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak this for a couple of hours. And then uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to use an old toothbrush. Maybe even old an electric toothbrush. Oh my goodness. Getting it everywhere. Um... We're going to use an old electric toothbrush here, and uh, we're going to uh, scrub the pieces off and then go ahead and get it back into the paint booth. So we will be back after a couple of hours for me in just a moment for you, but uh, we'll come back and we'll get this all taken care of.
All right, so the next day, I let the paint dry overnight, and I gotta say, it turned out really good. And as you saw, there were only three coats applied. I used the primer on this model for the first time. I didn't have to put on nine coats, y'all. <laughs> Super nice, I color matched it with the rest of the model. Uh, it's spot on. I didn't have to use nearly as much paint. Uh, the primer went on perfectly. I did have to wind up, I think it was, which piece? May have been this one. When I put the primer on, I smudged it. And so I had to soak it and I found out how hard it is to get lacquer off with isopropyl. So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and get like blue power or something similar for the, for this because the lacquer was a little tough to get off, but I did wind up having to respray this with the primer. Um, and then we wound up uh, get just putting three coats on uh, both pieces, and it turned out beautifully. So, what I didn't realize when I started this episode is that we also talked in the, in the last episode that we needed to get our nacelles painted as well. And this wound up being a little bit of a short one, so what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and reconnect our pieces using our new glue method, which I'm going to show. And then we're going to go ahead and bring back our nacelles, which we haven't seen since the very beginning. And uh, if you can see here, um, and I'll go ahead and throw some images up here as well. You can kind of see like right along here where I just missed, I just missed the paint. Uh, it's really light along the sides. I'm not pleased with how this turned out. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is soak these pieces in the isopropyl and then we're going to go ahead and rebase coat this with the primer and then we're going to go ahead and get our three coats now of our base gray so we're going to go ahead and do that after we connect our pieces and then we're going to go ahead and get this into the booth for three coats and then we'll come back and review the paint job at the very end of this one so let's go ahead and get started shall we okay so now what we're going to be doing for our gluing going forward is i've gone ahead and adopted the ca plus kicker I know that I've gone back and forth with different glue styles, how we're going to approach things. I will still use, of course, the Atomia Extra Thin where appropriate. Certain models you can't use the CA on, um, but for this one, we definitely can. And uh, what I have here is I have a nice nozzle that's uh, attached to the end of the glue. Um, and I'll, basically, it's a fine point applicator. And what we're going to be able to do with that is basically... Uh, you know, get the glue exactly where we want it to go, and then when it dries off, you just cut down the end. Uh, this one is a tip from uh, Buck from Buckman's uh, Model Mania. I'll go ahead and uh, toss a link down below into the uh, description for him. Uh, he was like, "Hey, you got to get this. You got to get the CA. You got to." And then Ian over at Pit Stain Hobbies, I'll also link him down below. Uh, he's like, "You got to get these applicator tips." And then uh, I have some uh, three, no, what is it? Um, I have little uh, insulin syringes basically that are on the way, but they take a little bit for shipping uh, for the kicker. And what I've done, instead of like using the spray on it, I don't want to overspray. It can't damage the model, but I just don't want to overspray and waste the kicker. What I've done is I've taken one of my pipettes here and I've cut it down to this point. And then I went ahead and used this glue tip applicator, which is the same thing as this one here on the CA, but it's a little bit more of a fine point. It's a little different, um, but I basically just kind of affixed it into place. And this is a fine point application. And then when you put the kicker on, and if you're not familiar with CA and kicker, and if you're watching this channel, you probably are, um, but you put the CA, which is super glue, uh, into your spots, and then you apply the kicker just directly on where you want it to really fast adhe you know, get the fast adhesion. And then uh, basically it's gonna be bonded in seconds. You do not want to get your fingers involved. Now, I know that I hate super glue, but these applicators are going to be the way we're going to go. I have a pin vise on the way, uh, along with um, basically I got the right size nail uh, for a needle or nail point basically that we're going to be using to affix our glue uh, when we do have to use it for like say for the Falcon and stuff like that. I've thought about getting a, a glue loop, but hey, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and just to finish up the thought here, our kicker is inside the pipette, which is going to go through here, and we're just going to point it. Basically, I'm going to put my glue along all of the edges here. I'm going to basically just quickly get through, get the glue on, and then each one of the connection points, so basically, let me grab my tweezers here. So each one of these points, 
we're going to put our kicker in place because that's where I want it to super bond and then let the rest of that kind of go and let, let the rest of it bond naturally. So let's go ahead and get started. Get the glue going. Okay, so our glue is going. Oh yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> Precise application. I'm really liking that. It's the first time I'm using this, by the way. Like, I've used the CA and the kicker together, obviously, but uh, I have not done it through this application yet. So, I'm going to be bonding the edges. Focusing on where I know that my connection points are. this applicator thanks buck thanks ian great tip and it doesn't do the over spilling thing which is very common that i see with uh you know you got the pressure on and the super glue it just kind of keeps coming out this one the glue takes a second to back get back down into the point there we go I'm gonna finish gluing this up and we will be right back. Okay, so I got the CA onto all of our lines and then in each one of our lug holes, let's go ahead and grab our kicker. And once you get the kicker going, it doesn't take long to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And inside there, get our pieces fixed together. Set properly. Do not get your fingers involved with that whole process. And get your pieces together. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hold this together for, oh, I don't know, a few seconds, and we'll be right back. All right. That worked beautifully, I got to say. Everything's nice and bonded together. Uh, I tried to briefly, like, pull it apart. Yeah, that's not happening. Now, one thing is uh, I'm going to take some clamps and see if I can get these two pieces together. But I remember this being an issue before, uh, before we separated it. Uh, we are going to definitely have to take some putty and go along on the inside here and get our pieces nice and cleaned up so that you don't see any of those seams. But CA plus kicker, instant bond. This piece is now back to where we were at the beginning. So now... I'm going to go ahead and get our CA and kicker off to the side. And I'm going to kind of show, let's see if I can get my phone out here and bring out my flashlight. And if you can kind of see it a little bit through there at the edges, you can see how my paint has not at all been consistent. I didn't primer it properly. The primer was gumming up my airbrush, as we recall. It just did not turn out really good. Um, when you separate, uh, I want to keep them together because I'm going to be painting them together. Um, but same thing here. You can kind of see along the edges, there's just no consistency in the paint. Um, yeah, it was just kind of a poor job. So we're going to go ahead and strip this down, get it back into the booth, and then we'll be back here quickly at the end to review and talk about what's next. Because what's next, my friends, is the Aztec Dummy. We'll be back.
All right, so we're back and we have a beautiful paint job on the inside, sides, front, back of both of our nacelles. <laughs> Let me tell you, I really struggled with the primer uh, in the very beginning of this model, having to do it through the airbrush and it looks like I'm gonna have to do that again here soon because um, <laughs> finding gloss black primer for a project coming up is kind of impossible so anyway <laughs> uh, basically the, the paint job here turned out so much better and as you guys saw with that primer put on we're only having to put down three coats of our uh, base color and it is settling in there just nice and pretty I'm really pleased with the work that we got out of that so that is what we've got for today we are back on track our ship is ready we're going to be doing our Aztec dummy in the next episode. And I'm curious to see how far back I can take the Aztec dummy. I've been doing my research for the Defiant. And because of that, I kind of know what we're going to be doing here. And I might be able to correct some errors and some like little things here and there with the Aztec dummy, which I should have gotten in the first place. So that's what I got for you today. And I just want to say thank you. I know that there was a million things y'all could have done today. Instead, you spent a couple minutes with me watching me build a model, which I think is pretty damn cool. If you guys have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to join the crew, check us out on Discord. You'll see the link down below. And my friends, until we see each other again, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And just remember to always live long and prosper.